Jealousy knocked me to my next level. Now hear me out. You see, jealousy is one of those emotions that we've been guilted out of feeling. But there is power in feeling your feelings and acknowledging how capable they are of pushing you forward. Jealousy, derived from the Greek zelos, was originally used in a positive manner, meaning to emulate or seek. The thing about jealousy is that when we see someone who is, does, or has something that speaks to the giant in us that's being ignored, we get that feeling in our gut. We get that nudge. We get that reminder of, hey, stop ignoring me. I want to be on a stage. I want to love like that. I want to see the world. Jealousy is a reminder of every time you choose comfort over curiosity or passion. It is a longing for what you truly seek or desire. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Who are you not to be the full giant you are meant to be? You may be the one who seems to do it all, who seems to flourish and play big. You're giving your goals about 70%, but to those around you, that looks like 170%. So it looks good enough, but that isn't good enough for you. And you wonder, why do I feel jealous when I should feel grateful? You see, jealousy does not deny your gratitude. Jealousy reminds you of your possibility, especially when you continue to fear or ignore it. Because something happens when we allow ourselves to do more, be more, and have more. We begin to shift out of our comfort zones. With jealousy's nudge, I acknowledge that I wanted to be an educator like I'd never seen before. I wanted the entire world as my classroom. So for me, my first step was boarding a plane to South Korea. Korean parents and educators immediately noticed that there was something different about my passion. By my second year, private academies were requesting that I rearrange their curriculums and textbooks. My specialty was adding direct applications of learning for every lesson, meaning that students were given a way to use new knowledge immediately in the real world. For every lesson I asked, how could the student become the teacher of this now? It was also important to infuse play and movement throughout the lessons. My motto was a new word that my students and I loved, learning, fun plus learning. Jealousy, just as always, came back again and I was grateful. But this time the vessel was a parent who couldn't afford to send their child to the school I taught at. I want my child to have what they have. What about those of us who can't afford all of this, she asked. Her jealousy forced me to act. It led me to a greater mission of helping a once struggling school to fill to capacity and triple in attendance. I trained the educators, created over 100 textbooks and courses, and designed the curriculum. This was just a start. This was just a glimpse into not only who I could become, but also how beautiful of an experience learning could be. Listen to your jealousy. Feel your feelings. Set your giant free.